welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell i'm really excited because we are going to be trying out this makeup revolution um neo Sha neon shadow palette i can't speak and this one is one is the up all night palette i'm really excited to try out neons and i mean as you guys can tell by the way my eyes look don't even look like watch the video then see um really obsessed with it okay i have to tell you i'm really obsessed and i'm so happy with it so if you guys want to see my thoughts on this palette as i'm creating this look and also how i created this look then please keep watching all right so i have my brows on as y'all could tell no they're just naturally like this and i primed my eyes so we're gonna get into this palette so this is the makeup revolution london neo shadow palette and up all night i think it's so pretty it has like your just pretty neon greens with like a cute purple brown and i think it's really cute so we're gonna get into this look i have an idea of what i want to do so let's just do it so okay these go in number so it starts from this side and it goes like one like one two three four five six seven eight nine but I don't think I'm going to say it like that because that's kind of weird. I'm going to go into, okay, yeah, I will. <laughs> um, shade number five. This is like a light, it reminds me of like a neon greenish yellow. I'm going to apply that right into my crease. There is fallout, but I don't mind fallout if it's not too much and it's pigmented. And... Uh, so far it's really pigmented this is just like my first dip and i'm liking it so i'm just gonna build it up a little cute i like that i oh my god i love how green it looks okay i'm gonna go into the shade number one okay yeah number one and I'm gonna add that in to deepen it a bit, like right on the crease. Kind of have it going from light to dark, if that makes sense, if you guys can see that. And these are blending out nicely together. I don't remember exactly how much this retailed for, but I will be putting that on the screen here when I edit. Um, so yeah but so far i'm really liking it i do like makeup revolution shadows i i've had the patricia bright collaboration and the tammy clark one those are the only palettes that i've used from them um so this is like the third one that i've tried and i'm liking it so far so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my elf 16 hour camo concealer i'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and i'm basically if i can find my brush i'm basically gonna just be cutting out the lid like that a little bit this is actually a really good brush for this this is the bh cosmetics 105 and i've been using it lately for this and i like it so far so. i'm gonna take my kylie cosmetics brush this is just a regular flat brush i don't know so I'm going to go into the shade. This is number nine, I think. I don't know. The other green. And I'm going to add that to the inner corner. I'm going to leave space like in between my crease and lid, if that makes sense. So I'm adding that. And then I'm going to leave space in the middle of my lid. And then I'm going to add it to the outer portion. Just like that. Making sense? Good. 
I'm really loving these neon shadows. I never really use neon shadows like that. And I'm really loving how this is looking like on my skin tone right now. I don't know. I'm becoming quite obsessed. So this shadow does have a little bit of fallout on the face, but that's why I like to do my shadow first. And like I said, if a shadow is really performing well, I don't mind a little bit of fallout. Now, if it's excessive, like you could see it, if it's excessive, then I'm like, okay. But it's not crazy. So I'm gonna go into the shade number eight. And this is like a shimmer. And I'm gonna add that to the center of my lid. I'm going to add in, I don't care about the numbers, I'm going to add in a little bit, this is like more of like a greenish toned shimmer and I want to add that on top because I feel like that'll look better with it, just like so, just like that. Now I want to take my NYX white liner and I'm going to basically outline the line that I left open on my crease. Just like so and I'm obsessed. I was kind of scared about this, not gonna lie, but I actually really, really like it. Okay. So the eyes, I think I'm gonna leave as so for now. Cause I don't think I wanna add a liner. Yeah, I don't really care to add a liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of my Fenty Beauty mascara. Wait, I don't feel like wearing lashes. Never mind. I'm not gonna. Yeah, not me switching it up. Anyways, because my lashes are looking pretty good right now. Like, I don't know. This mascara has these lashes looking phenomenal. So I'm gonna move on to my face now. So I think I'm gonna show y'all. So I'm gonna go in with my Say Bella foundation primer. I've literally just been using this because it's a primer that like I kind of just had and I don't have another primer but I'll be reverting back to like my elf primers because those are my girls. I'm gonna take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in shade 42N Tan Neutral. Just a dream. I'm gonna use my elf um, complexion duo brush. I'm obsessed with this eye look. <gasps> Yo, you guys. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Like, <laughs> as I'm like putting on the foundation, I'm like, wow, like you, things you did, that. I'm gonna go into my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in shade Buff Beige. Love this one. I also love my e.l.f. camo, but I'm running out and I don't wanna run out of her because she's like my favorite and I literally just got it, so. I'm gonna use the other side of the Complexion Duo brush to kind of blend out right underneath the eye and near the eyeshadow so that I don't mess up like the shape that I created underneath. And I kind of help it be a little bit more sharp. I love doing that while blending out my concealer. Like sharpening out a nice shadow, like yes. Then I'm gonna go on with the other side and just blend it out. Oh, I'm upset save my thoughts for the end of the video i'm gonna take my maybelline fit me powder i think it's in like light beige light medium 
And I'm gonna take that on my big fluffy brush and put that all over the skin. I should have cream contoured, but I put powder on already, so that's a dub. I am going to take this ColourPop bronzer to shade bits and pieces. It's like deep and red for me, but if I use it like a little bit, I'm good with it. So that's how I'm using it. Just like very little and building up if I want to. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't mind it, especially when I've ran out of like my favorite um, shades in this. But I do love this bronzer. But I thought that it would make for a good like contour. For, with this look. I don't know. I guess we'll see, right? Gotta contour that neck, you feel me? That Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's food? Please, where? Never had it, never ate it. See, I love this shade and how it just really warmed up my face, especially with this shade. I don't know how to explain it. See, I know what I'm saying. Like, sometimes just certain contours are just for... Ah. Anyways. So, I'm going to move back into the eyes. I don't want to leave it at the top, but I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. So, I think I just want to go into the deeper green shade, shade number one. But I am going to take that same Kylie Cosmetics brush, take it on the tip, and just go underneath. I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference, but I just wanna do it to feel like I tied the look in together. Maybe not, I got it in my eye, ew. Okay, I'm gonna take that same Fenty Beauty mascara and I'm gonna apply that to my lower lashes. Beautiful, oh, I'm obsessed. Anyways, save your thoughts for the end. Are you kidding me? You're not, I promise. I'm gonna move on to the lips. So I'm gonna take literally what's left of my Say Bella Plum Crazy Lip Liner. I'm running out. I've literally ran out, actually. And I'm sad. No, but I have to find something similar like to this really polite pretty plum shade so if you guys know anything that's close to this shade let me know because I really like it especially for like my ombre lips I don't know I've just been loving it I'm gonna use the L'Oreal L'Oreal CoverGirl concealer yes I use concealer on my lips and it just makes for a cute little ombre and I'm gonna add a tone of pink to it. So I'm gonna use the I Love Seta EX ColourPop um, Lip Gloss and Curvy. And like, are you kidding me? Okay guys, so that is it for this look. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Like, let me know if you guys think that I love this or hate this. I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette. I think it looks so pretty on the eyes and it blended out so nicely. It has really great pigment. There is fallout or kickback in the palette, but I don't really mind that. Um, like I said, I did have some a little bit around my eye, but that's why I like to do my eyeshadow prior. So um, I think that's something to keep in mind, especially if you like to do your base first before your eyes. There is fallout, but um, I think it's palette worth having with the little bit of fallout because it's not crazy um but I definitely think it's worth the coin I mean it's super affordable super pretty and it gives you the nice like neon payoff and I think it's just so cute this is so out of my comfort zone but I'm happy that like makeup revolution like came out with this because now I want the other ones I think they have a pink one and a yellow one and a purple one if I'm not mistaken and I'm really obsessed. I've really been loving their shadows, but their collaborations with Patricia Bright and Tammy Clark. Um, so this is like my first palette that I've really tried by them that's not a collab. And I'm loving it. I really love the mattes um, and the shades, the shades, the shimmer shades had really good payoff as well. So I would totally recommend this, especially if you want to try and get into some neon colors. I think this could be your girl. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys have tried these palettes out, um, how do you guys think that it looks on me? Let me know down below. Um, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Tell me